show at Sydney Stretch Therapy. And this is a little series on practical tips to stretch very stiff people. Now, have you ever complained of sciatica? You've got a pain in your bottom that you can't figure out what that is. It could possibly be your external rotators of the hip. That includes piriformis. So you may have heard of piriformis syndrome or sciatica. So how do you stretch that part of your body? Now, if you're really, really stiff, it's very hard to sit with a cradled leg into your armpit. So this is how we're going to do it today. I'm in my chair, my armchair, so that I've got something to hang on to. And I've got my bathrobe, my fluffy piece of bathrobe. And this is how we begin. The first thing to do is to remember that your pelvic movement is to untuck. So if you put one hand below your navel, one hand on your lower back, and you're going to try and roll your tummy forward. So rolling back is called a tuck. This is untuck. This is the position to get into. Now, if you find that difficult to actually feel and you've got this very tiny movement, you think, how do I get that untucked feeling? I don't know what that is. Here's a really good tip. It's about lifting your chest. But how do you lift your chest if you've always been like this? Reach your arm forward and up. It's like you're reaching for mum. If you're a little kid, you're reaching for mum. And see how that straightens up my back? That's an important part of this stretch. So if you allow yourself to slump back, that's a tuck, untuck. So it's in this position that you're going to get a stretch for this hip. So here we start. I start with my legs straight out first because trying to get this foot onto my leg might be an issue. So you get your bathrobe and you loop it around your foot like this and then just cross your ankles. This is the beginning of the stretch. Now see if you can untuck your hips. So you're rolling the top of your hip forward and your tailbone is going back. All right, feel that. Now if that's feeling a bit tricky, just let yourself slump back. Pull your leg up onto your own thigh. Then you can let go of the bath cord. That's okay, you're now in position. This is the first position. And then see if you can use a pulling back action with your arms, take a breath, try and lift your chest forward and sit up straight. Now, if you find that a bit tricky, just use the same arm, same leg side, reach forward to try and straighten up your spine and you may get a great stretch. Hold that there, bring your hand down so you can hold onto your leg. Just relax there. Now you can do a contraction here where you press this foot down, not with this hand, but by using your bottom as if you're trying to press this leg out in that fashion. So you're pressing your foot down out to your three o'clock. So if that's your 12 or six, that's your three o'clock, that's your nine o'clock. So you're pressing out to three o'clock in that direction on to your thigh. Six, five, four, three, two, one, relax, take a breath. And on the breath out, lift your chest a little bit more and see if you can lean forward just a tiny bit more. And there's your stretch. You're back into it again. Now, if you wanna change the position of this foot and actually bring it in a bit closer, just gently lean back, bring this foot in a little bit closer Sit nice and tall, hinging from your hip, not your waist, your hip, and see if you can lean forwards, leading with your navel. So you're not leading with your face, you're leading with your navel. And you're using holding onto your leg, pulling back action to hold the position. That's the stretch. And then you let yourself out. This is how you would get yourself out. Put your hand underneath your thigh, and gently lower your leg down onto the floor. And that's a stretch. So that, that helps you cross over and then use the cord to lift your leg up to get your foot on your thigh. Because I've noticed that quite a few people, this is not an easy thing to do, to put your foot on your thigh. So this is how you begin. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. 
I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe my channel. Give me some feedback down there. But if you'd like to actually contact me, go to sydneystretchtherapy.com. Contact me. I'll be very, very happy to talk with you and see if we can actually stretch you further. So move well, feel great every day. Enjoy. Thank you.